LED light flasher LED light flasher delivers a continuous square wave at its output. This circuit is commonly utilized for alarming and indicative purposes. It is the collection of a few active and passive components with adjustable flashing speed using two potentiometers. This circuit is very easy to build and can be built on a general purpose PCB or on a breadboard. In this tutorial, we are going to demonstrate the circuit of LED light flasher using NPN transistor BC547. These are the components which are needed in this project to NPN transistor BC547 3 1 kilo ohm resistors 2 50 kilo ohm variable resistors 2 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitors 2 red LED 1 green LED 9 volt battery PP3 battery connector on off rocker switch 1 0 PCB 4 screw with nuts and four plastic spacers. Before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor to protect the LED from high current and voltage. When we switch on the circuit, then current flows through these two 50 kilo ohm variable resistors transistor turns on when it gets 0.7 volt at its base terminal one terminal of capacitor c1 and c2 is connected to the positive supply but it will not start charging unless the second terminal connects with the ground let us assume that after switching on the circuit transistor q2 will turn on first when q2 will turn on it will connect the negative terminal of green LED with the ground, so green LED will turn on. At the same time, one end of capacitor C2 will connect with the ground, another end is already connected with the positive supply, so capacitor C2 will start charging. In the beginning, capacitor will be fully discharged and try to suck all the available current to get fully charged when it will draw the current. Then voltage at C2 will suddenly drop below 0.7 volt. C2 is connected with the base terminal of transistor Q1. So Q1 will turn off. Red LED will remain off until the transistor Q1 turns on. After some time, when the voltage at C2 goes above 0.7 volt, then transistor Q1 will turn on. When Q1 will turn on, it will connect the negative terminal of red LED with the ground. So red LED will turn on. At the same time, one end of capacitor C1 will connect with the ground. Another end is already connected to the positive supply. So capacitor C1 will start charging. In the beginning it will be fully discharged and try to suck all the available current. This will suddenly drop the voltage at C1 below 0.7 volt. C1 is connected with a base terminal of transistor Q2. So Q2 will turn off. Green LED will remain off until the transistor Q2 turns on. This process will run forever. Flashing speed of LED depends upon the charging and discharging time of the capacitors. Variable resistors are used to adjust the flashing speed. These are the components which we will use to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base and for that, we will take a zero PCB and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. 
To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit this switch on the PCB. To protect the LED from high voltage and current, we will use a 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. We will solder a power indication LED on the PCB. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the red LED. Now we will solder the transistor. There are three pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB. Now we will solder the variable resistor. It has three pins. We will use the middle pin and any one of the two side pins. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Small pin of the capacitor is negative and long pin is positive. Now we will solder the variable resistor. It has three pins. We will use the middle pin and any one of the two side pins. Now we will solder the 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor. Small pin of the capacitor is negative, and long pin is positive. Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the green LED. Now we will solder the transistor. There are three pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector. 2 is called base and 3 is called emitter. Now we will mount it on the PCB.
Now we will connect the components with each other, according to the circuit diagram. To avoid any damage in the circuit, make sure that there is no wrong connection or shorting between the components. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive and black wire is for negative. Now we will connect a 9 volt battery and test our project. Use a screwdriver to rotate the variable resistor. Variable resistors are used to change the flashing speed or on time of red and green LED. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.